And what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Joe Fontaine, the VIP Sound Lab. And I had some questions as far as just the arranger basics. Um, this has pretty much um, been covered uh, numerous times in a lot of my videos, but you know, I figured I'd just do a more updated uh, version on it. And again, you know, there are new members who are signing up who may not be familiar with it. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the arranger in the um, little arranger section here. This icon here basically is going to control or rather sequence the um, the mix itself. Like if I set it only this far, it's only going to loop scene one. Once I move it to like up just a little bit more towards scene two, it's going to loop scene one and scene two. If I move it like this, it'll loop all three of those scenes. If I put it like this, it will loop all three of those scenes when it's playing. Now your scenes, you have scenes one all the way up to 64. You have 64 scenes. I have a detailed video on this on my website or my YouTube channel, either one, that will show you how you can go through these scenes. You can control the size of your scenes. You can shrink the size of your scenes with the hardware controller. And also have a detailed video on the pattern arranger where you have 128 different patterns as well. And you can control like from right here to say one through 16 to the next one to start 17 to 30, whatever, and so on and so on and so on. Again, I have a detailed video on that. I'm not going to cover that in this video. I just wanted to give you a basic idea of the basics of how that works. Because again, there are some people who are new and are not a f uh, really familiar with the, uh, the scenes and the patterns. So when you right click on the scene, you can clear a scene, you can copy a scene, cut a scene, whatever the case may be. <clears throat> like for example, if I was to take scene one, press copy, I can go here, let's say to, you know, I'm just going over here for an example, I'm press paste. And you see how that changes. Now it over righted that scene and made that particular uh, scene there. I can press control Z and bring it right back if I made a mistake. Same thing if I'm, let's say if I'm on scene two, I can right click, I can press remove. Now you notice how it shortened the whole entire mix that I had. You see the icon is still here. So if you did that in a particular situation, you would definitely want to roll back the looper icon. You want to roll that back so that it loops your mix without having that little blank uh, space in your mix. I can press control Z, bring that back if I made a mistake. And this is pattern two. Also, you can name your patterns by just double clicking here. You can write in whatever you can write in scene or whatever. You know, if you, if you want to see the whole entire thing, what you just wrote, what you just wrote, you just use this little magnifying glass here and increase the size of that, you know, and also you can name up here, like, if you, you know, if you want this to be like verse, that's something you just write verse in there. So now it gets a lot more detailed. You, you can understand what's going on a lot better uh, in the mix. And, you know, if you're down here, you notice how I changed that. Now it will say scene. Or if I go back to one, let's say this was intro right intro okay so now here's the intro this pattern is different than pattern two if you look down here this pattern here is completely different than pattern one you see right here where it says kick set your goals that's coming in so now <clears throat> excuse me you're controlling your mix a lot better with just using the patterns and patterns can also be triggered from the pads on the hardware controller and again i'm not going to get too detailed in this because i have a, a detailed video on that on my channel as well as my website but this is just the basics so now to get a better idea, if I press this, if I press duplicate, notice how it duplicated that scene and it added an extra, uh, in this particular situation, a verse in the mix without overwriting anything. Nothing got overwritten. It just added an extra uh, scene. Okay. If I want to remove it, I can remove it. You also can clear scenes. If I press right click here, press clear clear scene which basically completely takes it out okay I can press control Z and bring that back you also can set your scene colors here because this is machine 1.8 if you want to organize your scenes by color like if I want this scene to be yellow if I want it scene 4 to be red if I want it scene 5 to be green and so on and so on you can set your colors up like this as well as your, your your kits themselves, or rather your groups themselves, you also can assign colors to your groups. As you can see, this whole entire group would be now green. On these chords here, 
If I wanted everything on here to be this, maybe like this canyon looking color, that'd be more purple. And I can right click here and assign the color in this group to maybe like an orangey color. Okay, so now we have the scenes in a completely different uh, color here. All right, so that's pretty much it on this little uh, module here. It's your boy Joe Fontaine, the VIP Sound Lab, just covering the basics of the uh, pattern arranger as well as the scenes. So that will give you a general idea. And again, I have more in-depth tutorials on that. And make sure you take a look at that. Thanks for watching.